Hey everyone, this is Gus from Kane Chevrolet in Marinette uh, coming to you with another vehicle walk around. This time I will be showing you the 2017 Chevy Trax LS model. So, right, starting right with the back, you still have your rear vision camera back there. Um, we're going to use the key fob to unlock it. And I'm going to just reach under here and pull it right on up. The gate, although not powered, once you get it past a certain point, will lift virtually on its own. Underneath here you have your spare as well as your equipment. You have, you have net hookups down there as well as along the bottom line there. This little doohickey is removable if you have a bulk object. All you do is you just unhook it from that and unsnap it from those on either side and it will slide right on out. So that is the back of the LS model of the Chevy Trax. I'll close that right on up. Uh, just one thing to keep in mind with this is the gas tank is on the passenger side. And it is just a push and open. So, let's open up the second row seat. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to move the front row seat up a, up a hair. So, well, while I'm doing this, the back of the seat is you have your manual lever in the in the back here the up and down is your pump lever here your lumbar is right here and your front and back is right down here so now that i have that seat slid up a little i can show you what i was hoping to here the second row seats have the little line string right here that you just pull and they pull up and slide right on forward. And this is what allows you to be able to use the little lever here to pull your seats right on down. And they do, of course, just slide right back into place. Same with the, the seats segment. Just slide it and push it down and it will get right back to how, it, how it's sitable. So, closing that on up, on the door you have your mir powered mirrors as well as your powered windows, uh, window locks and your powered locks. You have your dimmer and brightener for your um, instrument panel as well as your automatic headlamps or manual headlamps if you so choose. So hopping right on in here, we are going to use the little back option on the seat here. So this is not keyless. This still has the key that pops right out of the fob. And we just put that right in there and I'm, excuse my hurry, it's very warm in here. And we are gonna make sure that all things that are cold I'm running. Okay. So the driver information center in here. Oops. Carry on, strange on star robot lady. Okay, I think she's done. So, the driver information center is right up there, and it's operated a little different in here than it has been in past vehicles we've been in. It's actually going to be operated off of this lever. If you want to switch between trip and vehicle, you'll hit the menu button here. If you want to go up and down in each menu, you'll utilize the little dial on it. On it. And if you want to reset a trip meter, you will press and hold the end button. 
You still have your fuel range, fuel economy, instant, average, vehicle speed, navigation through the OnStar, and back to your uh, speedometer. I'm going to hit menu, and in the vehicle we have oil life as well as tire pressures, uh, units of measure, and back to oil life. Um, one of the neat things about this is the gas gauge is a little different than we've seen on past vehicles. It's, it actually lights up as it gets full, so there isn't the analog dial, it's, it's more uh, light indicators than, than that. Moving right on down, you can see the nice cloth interior in here with the uh, brown stitching. It really goes well with the black coloring. You have a couple of holders on the floor, as well as your parking brake here. Your um, shifter for the M, the plus and minus are uh, here to shift between low gears. Nice little area of storage in there, as well as your two USB jacks and an auxiliary jack. Right here you do have your 12 volt outlet as well. You have your def um, rear defrost in the center there. You also have, of course, where you want your air to be blowing, what temperature, recirculate, or um, fresh air, and your AC. And right above there, you, ha you can see you have your hazards, as well as your option to turn your traction control off. So, I get a lot of people that actually ask me, uh, why would, what situation would we ever turn the traction control off in? And the best answer to that is, say you get you get stuck, whether it be in mud or snow, what traction control will do is it will keep it will keep your wheels from spinning to build up traction. When that is off, it will allow your wheels to spin so proper traction can be built up in order to um, get yourself out of the sticky situation. Um, it is a it is still the Chevy MyLink system in here. It is just the uh, simpler version. You still have your projection for the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You still have your built-in Wi-Fi and OnStar capabilities. Uh, you still have your Bluetooth option as well as your uh, gallery option. And you still have your audio um, AM, AM and FM in the LS. You, in the LS, very seldom do you ever get XM. So, um, we are on FM right now. You still have the option to tune by dialing it in or by using the back and forth arrows. Um, in the glove compartment, you can see your manuals and all and how to uh, pamphlets. Right above here, we have our OnStar controls. And we have our interior lighting controls. So I have a little bit of a bonus feature for you guys here today. Um, if you want to pop the hood on here, your lever is right down there. And it will let you know on your information center that the hood is open. I'm going to turn off the vehicle and we're going to hop on out and take a gander at the hood. And what's underneath it? So, coming right around here, I will just locate the, oh, I found it. Little lever to lift it on up. And now I'm not gonna actually bother putting the, putting the stick up to keep it up. So I'm just going to kind of briefly show you all here. Um, underneath here you have your Ecotech motor as well as your dipstick right there. Uh, to add more fuel, mo not fuel, um, oil. And you have your battery on this side with your positive connector underneath that red um, doohickey. And yes, that is a very technical term we use in the business here, it's doohickey. Um, and right there you have your washer fluid. So, as always, from all of us here at Kane Chevrolet, 
I hope you found this video both informative as well as entertaining. And have a wonderful day and drive safely.